<laughs> What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Cash today. And I just wanted to get into the world of BMW for a minute. You know, a lot of people don't even know, you know, I do music. And I'm also a mechanic on the side. It's a hobby of mine. I love to do this shit. I love to do this shit in my hands and shit. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm not. <laughs> you know, this is one of my first video trying to walk y'all through my project that I just got. I'm really a Mustang guy. Don't get that twisted. I'm a Ford Mustang guy. I like the years between 87 and 92. That's my shit. 5.0s. I used to have a couple of them. Got rid of them. Don't know why I did it. Stupid decision of mine. But here I am today. I still am an avid person on working with cars. I do work at a great place. A lot of diesel motors who I work with. A lot of big stuff. Fire trucks to be exact. Ambulances. Ain't your typical shit. But I get the job done, you know. First of all, I'm gonna make this video short because I ain't gonna beat you start, but I wanted to give you a walkthrough of my 88 BMW 325i E30. I joined the E30 class, y'all. Hold on, y'all ready for it? Alright. Here he is. Yeah. I ain't even figured out what I'm gonna name it yet. My new, my, my, e, my E30. We gonna do some things with it though. Four door, it's not a stick. I know people you want the stick and everything like that. Nah, no. this is the uh, automatic. The grills, no mind the grills. I actually messed one of them up trying to trying to take the dang on hood up because the hood was stuck when I first got the car originally. So. Don't mind those. I, I, to be honest with you, I already started doing work on it. I already replaced the timing belt, tensioner, water pump, things like that. Now, my job next is getting started because the previous owner claimed they put bad gas in it, caused the engine to shake so bad it cracked the starter. When I got the car, the starter only had one boat attached to the bell housing, the other boat missing, and a piece of the starter still attached to the boat, net and boat to the bell housing. The starter was disattached from the bell housing completely. So it's crazy to me. But so far, that's where I'm at. I, I'm going to show you the engine, and it's going to be completely detached no radiator, no air box, no belts. Things like that because I'm still working. I gotta get the starter back put together and buy a boat and get stuff like that done to it before I put all that stuff. I wanna make sure everything works, starts before I even put the belts and everything on to it. So here you go, just the engine. So far, she no radiator. Just got that small cool and drained out some things. I got some things back in place. I should have recorded the whole time and the whole situation, but I didn't. This is the starter. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I bought the starter from a um, junkyard instead of buying a new starter because I didn't want to buy a brand new starter yet. I just want to get it started. I just want to make sure this engine runs and is good enough for me to invest into it because <laughs> I got this for a pretty good bargain, to be honest. I don't mind trying to put too, many, too much money into it. So, here's the engine so far. Everything, I'm still going to do the valve cover, the gasket, and all that other stuff like that. My main focus right now is getting the engine turned over, start, you know, get a spark, crank, give me some smoke out the tailpipe, then you know this thing going to start and crank. Once I know this thing going to start and crank, the races you already know what's gonna happen after that this right here i'm still trying to figure out how why what the this is and why did it happen that's a part of the cooling system if you guys do not know 
That's, I, when I took the cooling hose off, that's what I got. I'm like, what is that? You know, but it is, it is regular cooling that ran out. You can see it down there a little bit. And then, it is cooling that came out when I did the timing cover and everything like that. But I don't, I'm not sure why did that that looks like that. So, you know, if you got any, you know, answers on that, hit me up. Let me know. I'm going to continue to show you the interior. It's a lot of work. A lot of work that needs to be done to this car. But, like I said, I got it for a pretty big bargain. So, I can't complain about nothing at all. I can't complain about anything. All I can do is really piss a couple dollars into it and get it back to normal, you know. I actually turn this motherfucker <laughs> into some shit. <laughs> you know how we get down. But, anyway, this is how it is. You know, I'm open up this belt, passing the side. I got my crew in here, my bag. So, the belt is the front. Grill covers. I have not cleaned this car out since I got it. I immediately started working on the engine. It does has a, uh, a radio. I'm not sure. It's just Pioneer. It's like it's Pioneer. That's Kenwood. Kenwood radio. You know. It is some BMW shit. You know, I have not cleaned the car. That is my, some of this stuff is mine. I did just start working on getting my stuff into it. But I have not cleaned it out fully, like getting everything out that the previous owner had. I don't know why, I just did not. So here's the rest of the stuff out. I hooked the battery, of course, I was messed with the starter. Fans, radiator, belts, air, hoses old starter as you can see see how it broke off like broke off just just broke off the previous like how in the hell could it shake that bad and this be fine with this side just break off that's because this boat was loose that boat came out and this boat broke off of that flywheel spin so Pretty much, this your boy E30, and this is my project, your boy Cash is Bay, recording live from Detroit, Michigan, and I'm going to try to keep y'all updated as much as I can, like, this is, my, this is my first video trying to do this, I watch a lot of videos, I ain't going to hold y'all up, and I'm going to try to start one of my own, you know. I'm gonna try to do this and show y'all what's going on. I need to buy me a camera to be honest so I can show y'all hand in hand what's going on when I'm actually working on it. I set it up so I can show y'all because uh, I actually like doing this stuff, you know. It's not something I do uh, just for play. Like, I got a, <laughs> I got a job doing this. I work on like diesel stuff, but a lot bigger than this, you know. But, it's fun overall, like, I've been working on cars ever since I got my first one. Ever since I got, ever since I got my hands on some, some YouTube knowledge and my hands on some tools and a wrench. It's been on and popping since then, so I'm pretty sure. And I, uh, I'm not that, 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 that mechanic that think I know everything, too. Uh, I'm that mechanic that, that take knowledge from other mechanics that's willing to share. And the things that I know I will share with you all too. It's not none of that. Sorry about that. Just keep on. But I'm not, you know, I'm willing to learn anything. Any E30 BMW owners out there that got any tips on these BMWs, please, 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 please let me know. This is my first one. <laughs> I'm about to fall in love with this car. I can tell once I first went on, when I first hit the crank. Once I crank over and it gets started, I'm I have no idea what the things I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna come involved with too, and it, 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 it's it's crazy. Like I I don't even know if I didn't told people I want to put a new cam in it and do this 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 that and third into it. I want to make this thing a a, a night rider. I want to make this thing something hot. I want to think this make this car something nice for the homies we could ride in and you know just ride out and be real cool i'm not trying to make this a street racer or nothing like this but i do want it to be good quick and 
you know, something real cool. So if you got any tips, anything, let me know, you know. E30s for sure. I'm a BMW owner and also <laughs> I'm a Jeep owner. But also, I don't really care too much about the Jeeps. I'm sorry about the Jeeps. I worked for AV before in my life. America Expedition Vehicles. I'm very familiar with the Jeep world about the Rubicons and Brad Franklers and lift kits and the boots and stuff like that. I know y'all mad about Chrysler, huh? But anyway, uh, I'm very advocate about this this year. So, y'all got any suggestions, comments, whatever, hit me up because it's my first video. This is your boy Cash is David Point Live from Detroit, Michigan, and I got my first E30. So, I'm about to turn this motherfucker around and make a totally different thing. Turn around, you hear me? Checking in. Holla at me.